morning folks. This is Monday morning for me and this is a 70, 70th anniversary so came in two different flavors. This one here not sure exactly how to pronounce it. It's C-O-R-T-E then the next one is uh, S-A-B-A U-T-A. Um, anyway it comes in <laughs> with about 8.4 ounces of soap. This is a fairly large container and it is fairly well, well it was especially at the beginning. I've had this one for a moment. I've scraped out a little bit there, you can kind of see. But it comes fairly full, it comes with a, I guess you might say an extra lid if you will. Uh, this TFS soap though, it, it does smell quite nice. Got the Allen Block, no rubber band. Still going to be using the Sterling uh, Witch Hazel that's uh, black ice methylated. Got the uh, matching aftershave, and if this is the first time you've seen the TFS type uh, aftershave, some of theirs comes with the uh, scent profile there on the side. Pretty nice. And we're going to be following up with the uh, off camera with the Shave and Sailor Beard Oil. I've got it whipped up over here with the, uh, showed this the other day. Shaven Sailor brush. It's got a uh, bore knot in it. Whipped up here in my bowl. And uh, it whipped up pretty good. I got it a little on the wet side. It's not dripping wet by any means. And yesterday I made mention about using the, the uh, aftershave balm and uh, left my face feeling, feeling pretty good. It wasn't oiling. Noticed that throughout the day. Later on in the day, you look in the mirror, face didn't look oily, looks great. Worked out pretty well for me. Shaver of the day. Went ahead and went with the, uh, since I've been talking so much about it, here is the, uh, if I get it right, uh, let's go with this direction. This is the Chic Adjustable. This one here, you kind of see what I'm talking about. It has a pointer right here. Some of them may have a, uh, just a dot. And then there may be like a cross in the center of the dial there. This one here doesn't have that. And the best I got figured it is uh, going to be the M2. And I'm thinking maybe 1968, maybe. I'm not real sure. I have to double check again. I've been doing a lot of reading, so some of the information has probably got crossed up in my head. At any rate, this is... Um, I was really lucky to get this one along with the case of not only that and just outstanding shape just like just like new really nice I've already put a hot towel to the face and uh, still got what's left of the cube but I've had a, a lot of fun doing the research I've got uh, I'll put a link down below to another gentleman that has a blog uh, concerning these uh, chic injectors as well as information and pictures to go right along with it and uh, guess you might say uh, I spent a good amount of time yesterday hunting down uh, I guess you might say different types of information and there's little tidbits here and there that uh, I've been able to find to help me out on my identification and I didn't even realize at the time until yesterday that the uh, type E's and G's uh, I thought the line was a little blurred, and it is. <laughs> there was some indication before, and there's some information there on how to tell the difference, but the E's and G's, the, the line between them are, are a bit blurred. Um, from what I could find on my reading is that the, uh, I was going along the idea, to keep it simple, I guess you might say, um, I don't think I have one handy. I think I've already put them all up. Um, that the the uh, the flap that I refer to on the spring on the E's at one point in time that flap is uh, removed and the uh, the uh, when it's removed it's also still removed on the E's. I thought it was removed and then it became a G. That's not necessarily the case. So there's other little telltale signs, I guess, that tell the difference in between a G and an E. Anyhow, the lines are blurred. 
it's not always going to be the easiest to tell those apart. Not quite as simple as what I was hoping for. As well as how the handle is made. That's another telltale sign. Anyway, like I said, I'll put a link and a lot of that information will be below with uh, this gentleman's uh, blog concerning the uh, shake injectors. A lot of nice pictures. I did find through my search that I didn't realize uh, one in particular, I think it was um, on the J series, did realize that uh, one of them it'll look just like this one here with the exception of the fact on the underside it will have the lever, lever like the Schick Golden 500 it'll have this lever right here and uh, I did not realize that this one with this handle came like that and it also refers to it as a uh, uh, hydro magic and did not know that that was in existence and I ran across that I'm very surprised learned a lot in other words yesterday and it took a lot of what I refer to as page flips <laughs> in Google hunting down information your searches and the way you word it is quite a challenge. Find just little tidbits of information here and there, especially in the forums. And then the forums, I found out something about the uh, PAL injectors. The adjustable, um, oh, by the way, I'm starting out on the setting five. The, <laughs> since I'm getting ready to talk about that sort of thing on the PAL uh, adjustable, I didn't realize that there may have been two models with slight differences. And that difference was in the um, um, up here, how much uh, blade was exposed. Not necessarily blade gap, just how much was exposed. I didn't realize that there was two different ones. I just thought there was just one. And it also the talking about the uh, how the operation is with the setting that uh, the gentleman that, that uh, had a pretty good understanding how the mechanism worked felt like that in order to get it to work properly you would basically to set it you'd run it almost like you know you almost like resetting it go from high to low then back up to high then set set it on the setting that you want to set it at Something along those lines. I thought it was kind of interesting. I also mentioned about storing the uh, PAL adjustable. When you put it away for storage, to set it on the highest setting because of the way that the spring and, and how it works. Had no idea. Learned a lot yesterday. But there's a lot to learn about these Schick injectors, as well as the PAL. I think um, in some cases, uh, depending on what was being used at the time in the way of blades, if you're using some of the vintage blades, which is something that I was have talked about before, on the, especially on the DE side, is uh, I refer to it as stuff growing on the blades. Especially on a vented blade that's been around for a while. You don't know how they've been stored. Or the packaging, the way they've been packaged. They'd be subject to a certain amount of corrosion over the years. I mean, face it, when you got blades that are 40, 50, 60 years old, you kind of figure there's something that's probably grown on. Not knowing how they were uh, uh, protected in the way of any kind of oil or anything like that. And even at that, though, since they're wrapped in paper and whatnot, not knowing how much of that may have absorbed some uh, moisture. And with the injector blades, they're in a, they're in a, 
dispenser. But they're still going to be subjected to a certain amount of moisture or humidity depending on how they're packaged. And the older ones, of course, if you um, have uh, seen some of those older, pa older packages, they are... Uh, lost a bristle there. They're in cardboard boxes, so there you go. I think I'm going to adjust downwards setting four. I mean, it's good to have the, uh, what might be the original blades and dispenser, especially if you got a case or a box or whatever to go right along with it. If you will, to complete the set. I understand that because I'm right there thinking that that's a pretty good idea as it goes for the completion of your, your set. But I don't know so much about some of those older ones about shaving with them. Not too sure about that. Kind of thinking that that uh, might be uh, on the road to a rough shave. <laughs> but it also depends on how old they are. I might say how they were packaged. It's a lot of fun shaving with this shaver though. If you look at it on eBay, uh, there's uh, some that are available, especially for uh, auction as opposed to buy it now type thing. And uh, this one in particular I noticed would, would be the first one that will say dial as opposed to adjustable. Um, like you say on my collection, if you will, I'm quite alright with the one I got. I'm not necessarily in pursuit of all three of the different models or anything quite like that. Matter of fact, there's not very many left in the way of the uh, uh, Gillette's. Not Gillette's, but the Chic uh, adjustables that, uh, that I'm really interested in. I think I've got the, got the one I'm alright with. And as it goes for the rest of the injectors, there's a few that I wouldn't mind having, but some of them are quite expensive, so it could be quite a while before I get one, or who knows, I may not ever get one. In other words, the F-Series, they're really nice looking shavers, but they're not all that cheap. There's a few others. If the price is right, I might jump on one, but I think you might say I'm getting kind of close to the end of the the pursuit. The uh, what they refer to as the uh, the championship one, one that's got red, white, and blue stripes going down the, down the middle of the the spine. I think it would be the equivalent of a L1 or something like that. An easy rider looking one, except for not yellow, be white. I'm going to change the shedding setting from 4 to 3 now. Against, against the grain. The settings on this one here goes from 1 till to 8. If you're wondering. It has been very interesting research in this. I guess you might say two of my 
I'll put both links in there for where I've been getting some of my information. I say both. There's a total of uh, three that I found here recently. And the information varies, which I found pretty interesting. A lot of it will look uh, very similar, but if you look close enough, there's some of it that uh, it differs, and the, the, the parts that differed for me made a difference in me trying to identify what I have. Going back to the talk on the, uh, the E and G's uh, types, I have... Um, have one in particular that uh, I guess you might say in a way it has me stomped. It's unique, it's different. In other words, it's not just that the uh, the head is textured and it may be silver or it may be gold type thing and I've seen both of those and uh, it's not so much of that sort of thing as opposed that most of the part right there at, at the handle uh, most of it is that little piece of metal there is shaped a particular way. And on the majority of the E's and G's, they all look the same. Uh, except for I have this one where instead of where it's being flat on the top and the bottom and round on the sides, it's round all the way around. And uh, there's not very many of them like that, and I don't have a whole lot of information on what that means to me don't see very many of them like that but that's a um, kind of an interesting thing why at that point in time did they have round ones when the majority of them are uh, shaped the same way just something to throw out there little things like that not sure if it actually meant anything was it just uh, just something that they were tinkering with at that point in time for instance, was it uh, right around World War II when this took place and maybe it was a particular model at that point in time and uh, trying to figure that out. I haven't quite been able to put my finger on it just yet. Getting closer maybe one day. I'll be able to narrow it down. But I'm pretty sure it's going to take me a little while to figure that one out. <laughs> if I ever do. hope so though. In other words, I think it, it does it does have a, a meaning to it. I just don't know what it is just yet. Just the little things on these shavers might help give you a clue on the history of the shaver. It's a lot of fun researching it. Some of these guys have put in a lot of time not only talking about just the, the money and acquiring the uh, the shavers and the cases and all that sort of thing, but all the information, the, all the little tidbits here and there that somebody has accumulated over time. Like I said, you know, the um, uh, <clears throat> when it comes to these uh, shake adjustables, this one here, if you can tell where it says adjustable, it's in gold. You also will see some in uh, silver. Uh, the first model, I think, uh, came with uh, where it says dial, and it also says it on the box itself, the plastic uh, case that it came in, the, the nameplate, if you will, right at the beginning, it says uh, dial as opposed to adjustable. Uh, there's a version of this that does not have this running down the, the spine of the handle. Uh, all those different versions, it's just for me, it's just it's really interesting the evolution of how this uh, shaver went through it over the years. Kind of makes you wonder what the reasoning was behind it. The um, on these things too. They're all over the map. 
you just have to uh, shaking this up a little bit um, uh, some of them are in pretty good shape and they start out at a very inexpensive price I uh, think they're reasonably priced for the most part you'll find some that are somewhat higher than others but before you decide to I would suggest before you start uh, down the path of uh, looking for one of these is to at least get your arms or your mind wrapped around what the uh, uh, if you're wondering there's where it has the scent on this one here on the uh, aftershave um, get a good idea when you're looking for the shaver in the case what goes with what because I've seen some that are mismatched <laughs> Now, if you got more than one, you know, maybe that might work for you. <laughs> but at any rate, <laughs> just something to be aware of. You might want to be somewhat knowledgeable about what you're looking at. There we went with the, uh, I think this is what I'm going to refer to as the M2. This is what I come up with. Adjustable, shake, just, boy, this injector is really nice. Shaves great. Wonderful shave. Face, I mean, smooth. It went from setting 5, 4, and 3. And uh, even this spot over here picked it up without any issues. My face is feeling pretty good this morning. Had a great shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.